Hi, I'm Amor Morrison and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing with you exactly how you can land a six-figure job in database administration without any experience. Yes, you heard that correctly. I will be sharing with you exactly how you can do this. Now, get a piece of pen, get a piece of paper, take some notes and take action on what I will be sharing with you in this video. And rest assured, once you take action on these steps, you are going to be landing your six-figure job in 2023. There is no doubt about that. And one of the great things about database administration as a career in the IT field is that you don't really need to know any form of coding. However, the basic fundamentals will be great for you. So if you fear coding, you hate programming like database administration is a great career that you can pursue. A lot of the times on social media you will see a lot of individuals talk about data analytics and cyber security as a career where they make six figures but database administration is just as good but not a lot of individuals talk about it so I'm going to share with you guys how you can get into database administration and earn six figures. And you may also be wondering what does a database administrator do? The core responsibilities of database administrators are number one, to back up and restore your database. Make sure your database is always available and you can restore your database in the event of a failure. What is a database? Now think of a database as a container that stores all the information whenever a user enter information in an interactive website. That information is stored within your database. Now your responsibility also is to keep that data secure. So you're going to be also responsible for who access that data within your database. So security is a must. You have to make sure your database is secure at all times. If you're still here and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, like this video, share it with one friend. So guys, if you're still here with me, small favor, hit the like button, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button. Because I'm going to give you the exact formula right now. Number one, you're going to need to get some experience. Wait, I just said you don't need experience, right? Let me tell you how. So you've just left college, completed all your credits, but that's not sufficient. You don't really know the practical stuff to really go and function in an organization. Yes, it can be taught, but you want to be one step of the other candidates. And how do you do that? Step one, look at the job posting in database administration and look at the skills that you don't have. Step two, you're going to set up your test environment to learn all of these skills. So you're going to set up your Oracle virtual machine. You can utilize a cloud platform that gives you like one year you can get a one year free with AWS. You can get you can get one year free with Azure as well. And some of you will even get free subscription from Azure through your school. Now you need to utilize it if you still have that access. Step number three choose a relational database management system. My preference and my favorite is Microsoft SQL Server. That's, that's, that's like my baby. You have Postgres that you can choose from which is open source and you also have Oracle. Those are three well-known and popular databases. So ideally, you want to start with SQL Server, then you do Oracle and then you do Postgres. However, once you get the training in one database management system, you can transfer the knowledge to another database management system. So pick one, focus and become an expert in that field. So how do you become an expert when you're not going to learn this in university? Well, you can utilize platforms like Udemy. You can also check out my course. I've done a complete course in SQL Server Administration 2022 as well as the latest version for Postgres Database Administration. And these trainings are really affordable. Sometimes they will go on sale for like even $10. So you can check it out. Step four, you're going to be practicing all the things that you see within the job descriptions. So for example, if one of the job descriptions say SQL Server Reporting Services or SSRS, then you're going to set up your SSRS on your machine connect to your database and create reports using that. If they say they need AWS, you're going to be creating an account on AWS, play around with stuff like how to migrate a database to AWS, how to restore a database, how to create a database, 
things like that. So those are the things that you'll do as a database administrator. You don't have to know the entire AWS and, and, and panic about this. You just have to know bits and pieces of it. And administering a database on-premise is the same as administering a database in a cloud. So you don't have to overcomplicate or overthink it and say, oh, this is going to be hard. No, it is not. Once you get the fundamental training, you should be good to go. So basically, you're going to be creating your own experience by looking at job description, learning the stuff that are in the, in the description. Because I'm telling you, you won't really learn a lot of things that you really need to function as a database administrator within an organization. So you have to get the practical stuff outside of college. Which number am I? Maybe step five. Number five, you need to utilize LinkedIn. Set up your profile, right? Ensure that you have a nice professional photo and LinkedIn. So when you're learning stuff, you need to start posts about it, write a little article about it on LinkedIn. So when recruiters are searching for database administrators, you're going to be showing up in their feed. Now think about it. If you have a profile with database stuff related on it, right? Versus candidate B who doesn't have anything about database or any interest about database. Who do you think the recruiter is going to give a call? They're going to more likely reach out to you than candidate B who does not have any information or showing anything about database administration. The other thing that you need to do on LinkedIn is that you need to try and connect and interact with potential employers or recruiters and managers of an organization that you're interested in before that post even becomes available regarding database administration. Because from time to time, companies will put them out. So if you're interacting with someone from say company B, then company B posts and had about database administration. You are lucky to be interacting with the IT manager or the recruiter for that company. You would be first choice or first preference to be contacted regarding that job. Or you can always reach out and say, hey, I'm interested in this position. You're going to send across your resume. And because that prior interaction was there, then most likely you will be given an interview. I'm not saying the job will be handed to you, but you will be given an interview. And because you had went ahead, took the initiative and learned the skills that you weren't taught in school, right? you now have the unfair advantage over the other candidates. The other thing that you can also do is create a professional blog. I'll leave a link to my website. You can look at it and get an idea of how you can create it. And then you put that blog on your LinkedIn profile. Because remember, once a recruiter is looking you up, they're going to be checking out your profile, whatever you do, and they will be, they will be seeing this blog and see that you have some knowledge or interest in that field. Now, while you're applying for those database administrator roles, another thing I want you to do is apply for even a service test role or a data analytics role, right? Because what will happen here is that a company will hire you faster for one of these rules versus database administration. Now, the key thing here is when you get into that organization, then you find a way to express your interest that you want to become a database administrator. Now, think about it again. Now, you have the skills, you have the knowledge because you're going to be doing the relevant training and learning the relevant skills to become a DBA, right? And guys, I have a ton of videos on my channel that you can learn practical things that you'll do as a database administrator, so you can check them out. Now, when that post becomes available in that organization, they're going to choose you. Or a post may not even become available, but they may need assistance with their databases and they're going to select you because it's easier to give you the task and the role than to hire someone outside of the organization. So that is an excellent way you can use to break into the database administration role within an organization. One of the great benefits of working in tech is that it comes with remote opportunities and database administration is no exception. However, some companies may prefer an hybrid approach, but it do comes with the flexibility of full-time remote opportunities. So you don't have to be worrying about traveling to the office if you are a database administrator. You can do everything from the comfort of your home. If you don't have a bachelor's degree in information and technology or any related computer field and you are in an organization already, you can use the same strategy and make the transition. Because if there are no red tapes really, 
you will be given the opportunity by a manager. So guys, the key thing here is that you have to create your own experience by learning the things that you weren't taught in school. And how you do this? By looking at job description, setting up test environments on your laptop, or even in the cloud and then you practice these skills. You can check out my beginner friendly database administration courses on Udemy. The link will be in the description below. These are direct towards database administration. So trust me, when you're finished, you'll be like a complete database administrator. It would be like you have seven years of experience like I do. Because in the courses, I teach you things that you'll do on a day-to-day -day basis. So guys, if you made it this far, I appreciate your time. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share this video with one friend. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.